Sup dudes. So today, we're going to be playing the long-awaited Life is Strange True Colors, which is the third installment of the Life is Strange franchise. Me personally, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, so I can't wait to play it. It just came out today. So super excited to play it. Can't wait. But before I start, um, I have a couple things to talk about. Um, first of all, uh, my last video, it did pretty well in views, almost got like 2,000 views. So thank you to all the people who watched the video, appreciate it, and, and gave it likes and all that stuff, appreciate it. Thank you so much. The second thing I want to talk about is why I haven't been uploading as often. And I talked about this before, but it's just because um, a lot of the games that I have on, on my wish list, they're not out yet. Except for this one, which I am going to play after I finish um, Life is Strange 3. And I'm, I'm going to try to find more games to add to my wish list because I don't really have too many, you know? And to be honest, these two games, In the Valley of God and Scorn, they're not fucking coming out for a long time. Um, so yeah, that's a bit, that's uh, why I haven't been really uploading as much as I'd like to. Uh, just because a lot of the games I want to play aren't out yet. This one I'm really excited for. This Forever Ago game. Looks fun. And Road 96, which is out, so I can't wait to play this. And actually, I think that's it. So let's get started with the video. Okay, guys. We're in. We are officially in Life is Strange True Colors. Me, personally... I'm super hyped for this game. I might need to have to turn down the audio before I start. But yeah, I'm super hyped for this game. Link your Square Enix members account to the game to join the community access kind of exclusive new updates. I'll skip it for now. Maybe I'll join it later. Okay, so this is the loading screen. Uh, right off the bat. Beautiful. So, uh, I'm excited. Uh, let me change the audio. Let me turn on the audio real quick. Be okay. This should be better. Audio should be a little bit better. Um, so yeah, let's go. Here we go. I'm clicking the button. I'm gonna click the button. New game. Click. All right. Let's do this. Life is Strange: True Colors is a story-based game that features player's choice, your actions, and consequences. Oh fuck! I can't read fast enough. <laughs> fuck so it. The day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex. Yeah, I'm getting interrogated. What's going I on? about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Okay, yeah, I, I don't want to talk. I'm not trying to talk over them, so. I'm gonna remain quiet during dialogue scenes. I'm gonna try to remain quiet during dialogue scenes because it could be very important for the story. I don't. I don't want to like talk over it. Chapter one, side A. Alright, so we're in Haven Springs. We're going to meet up with our brother Gabe, and we were 
uh, previously at a homeless shelter? Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Okay, and we're in, we're in. I'm I'm a bit afraid of my frames might be bad, but the game looks good. Alex looks good. What's up, baby? Oh, what's up, girl? Damn, she kind of thick. Okay. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Okay, well, but before I move on, uh, there's a couple of questions that I have about the game, Life is Strange 3. Um, first of all, is it going to re uh, tie anything from Life is Strange 1 and 2 into the story? Um, I know that Life is Strange 2 was completely its own uh, separate thing uh, with a little bit of Life is Strange 1 sprinkled throughout. Just a little bit, though. So I'm kind of curious to see what Life is Strange 3 is going to be uh, in terms of the story, you know, because is this uh, game series just a series of individual games which each um, each series having its own, like, different story or are they going to tie everything together? Like, what the heck is going on? Like, why? where are these powers coming from? Like, is it, like, is there something, you know, more deeper behind it? Like, I just have a bunch of questions, like, and I can't wait to see what Life is Strange 3 is going to tell tell me because I feel like it's going to answer a lot of questions. I hope it answers a lot of questions about, you know, what's going on in this universe, you know? Because, like, like, it can't just be mindless gaming. I don't want that. I don't want it to be just mindless shit. Like, I want it to, I want it to be impactful. I want there to be, like, a story. That's what I hope. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of what I... That's a couple of questions I have, like, what I'm looking for throughout the game, like... Is there any Easter eggs of the the past games, or like, um, you know, what does this have to do with the whole um, Life is Strange as a whole? You know, um, so yeah, let's let's go, let's play. All right. Um, hopefully, my frames aren't bad. They do look a bit choppy. So maybe that's just the game. I'm not sure. Oh, look at this, guys. Look at these flowers, though. The game does look pretty amazing, by the way. Like, wow. What an upgrade from Life is Strange 1 and Life is Strange 2. This is our MC, our main character. Hold on. Let me, let me try to turn some settings down a bit. Okay, we got our first cutscene. Wow, beautiful, beautiful. I'm a phoenix in the water, a fish that's learned to fly, and I've always press space to leave the Zen moment. Let's enjoy these, let's enjoy this a bit, you know? I want to take my time with this game, so if, if I end up making a lot of parts for this, I'm sorry, but I really want to take my time with this game. I want to enjoy it. This is a piece of art that I paid for, okay? I'm gonna get every single penny out of this game. This is nice. So when I'm ready to be Alex. All right, I left. I was done with that. That was good though. That was nice. Gabe Chan. That's really him. Oh. 
What's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Hug or a handshake? Um, we'll definitely go with the hug. I'm this cool action will have consequences. Are. Ooh. <laughs> My yeah, that would've been weird. That would've been weird if you handshake, like, "Hey, brother. Hey, sister." It's just so good to see you again. Haven't I seen you in eight here. years. Believe it. No, we gotta go for the hug. Oh, what's going on here? Oh yeah, and as I'm, at, uh, from what I know, she is a psychic empath. That's the abilities for the, uh, this game. Taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. And so she just read his mind. Are you mind. ready to see the town? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Nah, fuck that shit. Let's do it, motherfucker. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. Hell yeah, let's rock and roll. See that? I like that. I like that answer. Me neither. <laughs> but I love the enthusiasm. Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. Hey, How was you're getting the trip? faded. You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Leif, owner of the flower shop and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally <laughs> meet you. Fuck? Welcome. Oh. <laughs> She's like this. She's just like hugging her I'm and like so she's just like you, holding her back back like uh you. wait what? <laughs> like, glad to be here. <coughs> that was kind of funny. That was kind of in that was an interesting inter interaction. She seems nice. She seems yeah, nice. She's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs though. A little quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah right, right. Welcome to Haven. This place is beautiful, by the way. The Silver Dragon. Oh, there's marijuana leaf on there. Oh, yeah, that, that makes sense. There's marijuana on there because they're in Colorado. It makes sense. If they are, uh, if they are uh, is in this present the first time. Stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me Cause I'm not sure. I'm not sure when the exhibit. when Life is Strange one Kate and when Chen Life is Strange two took place. I'm not sure what years they took place. I'm pretty sure it's like oh, modern era. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> Maybe 20th century. Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? I guess. Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard, or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? Be honest or be clever. Let's be honest. I would be honest. It's usually harder, but then you come off as more authentic. True. Called it. Wow. You two are already wonder twinning your way through town. Seems that way. <laughs> Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? Okay, so he's getting flowers for his girlfriend. We have three options. What did you do? Sunflowers, Lily of the Valley. Let's figure out what he did. What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> sunflowers. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, 
well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Oh, hold on. I'm going to turn on the vol. I'm going to turn up the volume just a little bit because I maybe I put it down a little too low. Just put it up a little bit higher. All right. Let's check out the flower shop. So we got hold right click when the circle displays to see the emotions attached to the character. Okay. What if I oh. don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Okay. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, approach the object and use enter or interact. Let's just Aww, interact. I wonder who they are. Probably her parents or grandparents Cute, right? or something. Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Oh, okay, so these guys were the previous owners and they were very close friends. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? How to Kill Everything You Touch. A flower book by Alex Chen. Okay, we got some flower stuff. Nice. But yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be looking... I'm gonna be go looking through everything, okay? Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? Ooh. That's a shame. That was pretty, uh, self-deprecating. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. Look. This gnome has been places. Hey, I think that gnome was in, uh, I think that gnome was in Life is Strange 2, I think. If I remember correctly. I'm not sure where, but I, that gnome, I think he was in one of the other games. Perfect. <laughs> that guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Nobel Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> LOL. The tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. Okay. Oh, let's look up Gabe. Let's see if we can examine Gabe. Oh, we can't. We can't uh, examine Gabe. So that's how we use our powers. We right-click to use our powers. Can we run in this game? Maybe there's a. Oh, let me let me see the controls real quick. Shift is to jog. Okay. Alright, well, I think we uh, looked up everything in here. Let's get out of here. We can get out of here now. Oh, wait, what's this? We didn't look Mandatory at this. For any enchanted garden. True. Alright, let's get out of here. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. Alright, back in the town. How I might long have, have you to and fix Charlotte my video dating? settings. I think my video settings might be About a little years bit now, wonky. I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. Alright, so we're just walking. Here we what are. does this say? 
What? Wait, what? Wow. Good to know. Warning, sirens will sound part of detonation. The heck? Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's All right. sweet. Let's see what this wow. goat yoga Just ad. Center your body, free your mind, and do it with the tiny little goat feet on your back. Join us for yoga. Okay. Cool, uh, cool. What the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome ha, to Colorado. Ha, ha, ha. Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, oh, okay. don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. All right, so we got a we got a couple people just drinking on the side of the road. Pretty cool. The models look pretty good. The uh, character models look good. This whole game looks nice. Uh, hopefully, my video settings aren't like bad in post. If not, I'll just I'll just fix it for the next video. All right, let's talk to Gabe. I think we looked at everything. Actually, maybe we could check the other side of the of this road. Let's check. Alex, wait up. Oh, okay. We have to talk to Gabe. Never mind. All right, I was thinking we could explore a bit, but we have to talk to Gabe. All right, let's speak to Gabe. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. It's gonna be longer than a minute. Who the fuck me. is this kid? Oh. Who the fuck? Where did this there. guy come from? Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. Oh, has she found the Scepter of Serenity yet? <sighs> She's looking for the Scepter, but I think she'll need the Bangle of Vanishing to get to it. Boy, shut your lame ass up. Get your ass back to school, motherfucker. Vanishing, my kind of power. I prefer the firing. Um, what what a choice do I pick? I prefer the fire vanishing. I'll just go vanishing. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible, and no one can stop you. Nice. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. All right, let's see what you got, kid. You got ten minutes. You got five minutes, actually. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. Okay. This is awesome, Ethan. This guy's got he, this read. guy. This guy hustling out here. I respect it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. No, it's cool. Promise you'll be careful. Promise you'll be careful. I know we just met, but be careful out there, okay? You don't need to worry. Really. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. See you later, Ethan. Weird kid. Just came up to me out of nowhere. But... Good kid. Good kid. Good kid. Good kid. Oh, wow. Alright, so we're in the record store now. 
Cool beans, cool beans. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. Yeah, you get it. Let's go. No way. Oh, she's jamming. She's jamming out hard. Unicorn sandwich or zombie parade? Those are the only two choices I got? Now I don't want to listen to either one of these. I guess we'll go with zombie parade though. So I don't want to listen to either one of those. The fuck? Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from some chick. The fuck? Some chick. Alright, so this is Zombie Parade. Let's check it out. Okay, not bad, not bad. Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open wait are you Alex that's me wow Gabe's been talking about you coming since forever I'm Ryan hi Ryan nice to meet you so all the way from Portland huh? what do you think of Haven what do I think of Haven? Still deciding? Cool so far. Cool so far. I've seen some cool things so far. Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah. Well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide. An outdoorsman's guide. guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Why does this guy look ashamed while he's showing her this? That's different. That's nerdy. That's different. Not what I was expecting at all. It's a pretty obscure record. <laughs> the National Park Service gave it five stars. <laughs> So, you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. Oh, okay, he's a all coming uh, in focus. park ranger. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. Oh, well, thanks, Mr. Frickin' sure Know-It-All. You put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. <laughs> Damn. I know I saw it before. Wanna help me look? Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. Okay, so the music just changed. That's Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. It's been so long since I've played. Okay, so Alex used to play the piano. 
Steph's touch and die. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? This might be a, a Easter egg for Step Brothers if you guys seen that movie. Maybe. Clarinet. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Okay, so this was a clarinetist by a survivor of World War II. Interesting. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Alright, so I think we explored everything in this room. Uh, let's look at he Ryan. Seems cool. For a tree cop. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. Ninth Warden. Hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Okay, nice. Bulletin board. How very small town. Okay. Listening station, we can play some music? I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I... Oops, I cut Alex off. Sorry, Alex. Okay, let's see what they got planned. Okay, we got some acoustic action. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And I could press spacebar to leave so, whenever. This is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. Did she just say, dispensary? <laughs> it still doesn't feel real. Like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. Damn, Alex, Alex been going through some shit. What she be going through? What is she thinking about? It's my home now. Walking Scott Street, feeling like a stranger With an open heart, open container Alright, we're done. We're done here. We're done here. That was, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. Yeah, get, get out of see Alex. We got some shit to do. This ain't no time for- you can't relax too much. Can't get too comfortable. Alright, Alex, let's do this. All right, that was pretty neat. Staff picks. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. I'm detecting an indie pattern. Uh, indie? Okay. A uh, seriously obscure indie pattern. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Area 51. Aliens. Color me impressed. I welp. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's some cool art. Let's see what else we got. We got a cat. Oh, we got a cat. Wait. Is that the whole oh, list? Oh, it's like a little kitty. Uh, let's move the cat. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Oh! Okay, just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. Okay, we gotta find a toy. Oh, I wanna look at the cat again. Couldn't have curled up. I don't know. Literally. Oh, I love cats. Else. I love animals in general. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. That's a nice name. I like the name Valkyrie. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Let's see what's on their chore list. Let's see, Alliance Order Do, a Mop, Spring Fest, Mop, Pull a Prank on Diane. That's funny. I think I saw, yeah, look at this sign, it says LARPing. Fake weapons, real fun, mountain songs, 5-5. LARPing is live action role playing. That's pretty cool. 
I don't I do any of that stuff, Jane but Ann I think that's cool. School. I'd love to actually read the book one day. Yeah. I love that this town has their own radio hold station. Hold on, hold on one second. Let me, let, let Alex read this again. I did a report on Jane Eyre once in high school. I'd love to actually read the book one day. I don't think anyone read Jane Eyre in high school. I did not read Jane Eyre. I was told to read Jane Eyre in high school by my English teacher. I was like, bro, this shit is so huh. whack, bro. Colorado digs, I cannot it's fucking rock, read that shit. That shit was so boring. That shit was like fucking watching paint dry. Motherfuckers call that a classic? A classic? Gabe's you gotta be fucking kidding me. Here. Ain't no Which way paint is drying is a fucking... Is a classic. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Apparently plants can feel pain. But it's like, I don't know. I didn't even poster. read Jane Eyre, but it was so boring, bro. That shit was like fucking... Like a life into the fucking like... Like Standing medieval times, I was like, man, fuck that strangers. shit. That was oh, so boring. Crawlies. Victorian, Victorian That's horse shit. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. All right, let's help Ryan. We gotta, we gotta get the, we gotta Are get you the like toy. That cat toy. Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? Banjo dubstep acapella screamo. Banjo dubstep. I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. Isn't that an oxymoron? Acoustic EDM. Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. Is was that it, Gabe? Yeah, freaking. Oh, okay, here we go. Let's uh, search the metal box. Looks like a toy could live here. What if he exclusively listens to Smash Mouth? Wait for it. Cover bands. Ugh. Smash Mouth know. cover bands. Yikes. Damn. You could check the register. Okay, but what if it's three unbroken hours of improvisational jazz flute? That he listens to while writing scathing film reviews. Yeah, and sipping a $50 Americano. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Alas, no toy. Maybe that drawer? It could be Celine Dion's greatest hits. You mean the essential Celine Dion? She is a Canadian treasure. Mm, nothing. Okay. What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? What are these people talking about, by the way? I have no idea what they're talking about. I think they're talking about, like, Gabe's music choice or something like that. I don't even know what's going on. Alright, so I guess it's in the junk box. I guess the cat toy's in the junk box. Oh, nice. We got it. Good guess. <laughs> Be safe out there. All right, we got the cat if toy. Die, oh, okay. Oops. I think. Oh, this is my. This is the phone. So this is the menu. Let's see this. I accidentally clicked it, so I might as well just check it out. Uh, what is this? I guess this is like Twitter. Reminder to all Haven residents that Typhon mining will be setting off charges tonight. Uh, my sister's finally getting into town, so I'm gonna be on the least worst behavior. I'm adding her to my block. As soon as she gets in, we'll say, uh, everyone say welcome. So exciting! Oh, I feel... uh, uh, type in mining. Opening a second open pit mine. Maybe. Ethan Lambert. Oh, 
All right, we'll, we'll read these later. We'll read these later. It's a bit too much right now. Let's see, Gabe, we got some text messages from Gabe. Uh, you were right. Uh, you were right. Are we sunflowers? I feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Okay. <clears throat> Dr. Lin. Uh, may I stop by your room? Oh, let's see these messages. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. This is her, um, this is the person who was, like, the doctor of the foster care. I'm not really sure, but she, she, she knows about Alex's powers. So, I guess reading what she has to say is kind of important, right? Uh, punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your... I'm sorry, lost track of time. Is that okay? What happened to Heather? Is Heather okay? Who's Heather? And then she, she says she's not hurt, and then Alex said, I'm so sorry. Hold on, guys. Look at this. This caller has been blocked. You will no longer receive messages from their number. Whoa, that's interesting. And then before Alex blocked her number, Dr. Lin was kind of going off a little. Where are you? Your things are gone. Who are you with? Get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. I realize you're emotionally vulnerable. And then she just says yes. But then she gets blocked. So we blocked Dr. Lin. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not sure who Chelsea is. Oh, so it seems as if Chelsea is a foster care purse girl. Hey Chelsea, I have something important to tell you. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to move to Colorado. Left my brother. You living, leaving you is the only literal downside of this plan. I'm really sorry. Just know that I'm always a phone or call or text away. Okay, congrats. Don't be sorry. I'm so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. It sounds good. Good luck today. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. Don't let anyone push you around. Okay, you're right as hell. Me too. Okay, so Chelsea was a friend from the foster care. All right, we we looked at all of the. Uh, Yo, read this text message. <laughs> hey, is this Gene? That's Cosmetic Charlie D. Friend, who am I speaking with? Or whatever. Alex, Stacy, give me your number. Are you still selling? Only to those who truly know how to surrender to the flow. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> she just said, she just said, yeah, fuck that shit. I ain't dealing with that shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll, we'll read. I'll read those later. What is this? Uh, is this her diary or something? Tessa, anger. Bitter and jealous and a little queasy. That's what the anger tasted like. They didn't even have split or a lipo. What the heck is going on? I guess she's writing lyrics. I'm not. I'm not that even too sure. cat-related death. Okay, sorry about Tell that, guys. I, I was just uh, reading the stuff, but we did find a little bit of lore. Uh, so that's good, you know? <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Oh, the kitty. Alright. <laughs> good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Gabe Chen, Tiny Blue Dot. Should have known. I can see why Gabe fits in so well here. 
Wait, what? I got a new text message? Oh, no, a new my block. Free drinks tonight at the Black Lantern to celebrate my sister's arrival. Ooh, we about to get faded tonight. Let's go. Black Lantern Tavern or whatever. I'm, I'm down. I'm down for it. Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. Um, you gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any uh, ammunition you can give me? Uh, dork or badass? Hmm. Let's go with dork. <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed. Sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just... No, dude. I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> What the fuck is going it's on? Called a job. Maybe you'd understand what the hell is if you going were on? I can watch the boost if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there one sec. Not sure what happened there. A LARP shouldn't be this hard. Maybe she's. Oh yeah, she's an uh, empath, so I guess she's taking on her emotions and feelings Are and shit. Are you okay? I didn't know it was that, uh... I didn't know it was that, like, uh, strong. I'm great, thanks. Just... Did she say organizing a LARP? <laughs> yep. Beyond DJing, Steph's also queen of the Haven nerds. Sounds like there's some unrest in the kingdom. <sighs> Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? Talking about birds, checking out the place. Just looking around. This place is pretty sweet. Every time I'm in here, it reminds me of you. I'm not surprised you like it. Anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Mac wants to see him. Who's Mac? And we also got a new text message from Steph. I should check in. Do you mind? No, yeah, of course. Hey, let's get some weed, boy. Let's get a little high. What up, Monster Slayer Thanor? Hey. One week to the LARP, you stoked? Ugh. Hell yeah. Had a boy. No, we gotta talk road trips next. It's a long drive to Denver. Are we driving with Steph? We'll see. She's a GM, so she's gotta be in Denver pretty early. What are you doing tonight? Mom says I'm supposed to stay at the Lantern until she gets off work. But I kind of want to hang out at home. Is that okay? Do you, man. <laughs> but I'm going to check that homework later tonight, though. Better be done, Capiche. Capiche, good to meet you. Yeah, same. See you around. 
So it seems like they have a pretty good relationship. So weird seeing you do the dad thing. Dad thing? No, 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 no. No, no, I'm better than a dad. I'm like dad plus. <laughs> we trust each other. He tells me stuff he doesn't even tell Shar. Ethan didn't tell Gabe about going to explore the old mine. He trusted me to keep his secret. Should I? Or should I blow his cover? What? Wait, what? Uh... Keep Ethan's secret or tell Gabe? I'll tell Gabe. I'll snitch. I'm snitching. Uh... I should probably tell I'm him something. I'm snitching. Shoot. Earlier when Ethan and I were talking, he mentioned exploring some old mine. Oh, man. He seemed like he knew what he was doing, but I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> this fucking kid. I'm going to tell Charlotte. Just give me a sec. Ooh, Ethan's in trouble. Really? We'll see. I appreciate you telling me. Y you did the right thing. Oh, that's what nice. What do you say we get you settled in? Okay, so it was the right thing. So, this is what a mining town looks like. Thought there'd be more guys in overalls running around. With soot all over their faces? Exactly. What do they mine here, though? Used to be silver back in the day. And now? Uranium. They blow these big holes in the mountains and sell it off to nuclear power plants. Oh. Yeah. We'll actually be able to hear a blast later tonight. It's pretty intense. Sounds like it. Look who it is. Jed! Hey, got someone I want you to meet. Alex, this is my buddy Jed. Buddy hell, will you listen to this horse shit? His boss, he means. You own the Black Lantern. For the last 12 years or so. It's good to meet you, Alex. Heard a hell of a lot about you. Oh? Only bad stuff. Mostly lies. Your brother's full of shit. You know that? <laughs> he just about wet himself waiting for you to get here. <laughs> just about same. Same. Just about. Oh, did he manage to hold it in this time? Good for you, Gabe. <laughs> I like her. <laughs> yeah, she's okay, I guess. We're heading in. You coming? Uh, in a minute. Supposed to meet Eleanor to talk spring festival decorations. Did he tell you about the festival yet? Not in detail. I'll fill you in later. Like, you do not want to get this guy started. I'm loquacious, goddammit. It's charming. Oh, before you leave, word of warning. Max got that old bug up his ass again. So I've heard. Yeah, so just, you know, eyes open. Anyway, you guys go settle. Alex, pleasure. I'll mind, Jed. So, spring festival equals mountain prom. It's a lot cooler than it sounds. Not possible. I'm picturing some straight up wicker man shit. Oh, you've been before. Was that a, uh, I think that was a foreshadowing. Wicker man, where like, it's the uh, cult, cult type thing. Maybe this town has a cult. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Cause, I, Cause in the uh, trailer, I mean, I'm not spoiling anything. Cause in the trailer, uh, Alex's brother dies, you know? So, we're trying to figure out how he died, so... Maybe there's some kind of cult shit. Shit, man. Hey, this is the bachelor pad right here. My man has got the crib. This is all yours? Don't sound so surprised. Best you could, it's really nice. When you said that you had a nice place, I was picturing small but homey. Well then, welcome to my crib. 
<laughs> Seriously, this is great. Yeah, it's a nice place. And the best part is, it's actually yours. I'm mostly staying at Charlotte's now. What do you mean, mine? What exactly do you mean, this is mine? It's this thing where people have places they live. We call them homes. Ha 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 ha, very funny. I mean it. I want you to have a fresh start here. Gabe. I... Thank you. You got it. Just promise me you don't throw too many keggers at end in surprise fires. And Jed will kill me if that happens again. Sure thing. <laughs> Didn't we already do the whole staring at me thing? It's just... You look a lot like how I imagined you'd be. Yeah, I wonder why yeah. they went... Why they were separated. Do I look how you expected? Happened? I honestly didn't expect you to have a beard. Oh, they didn't tell you? When you move to Colorado, you automatically get an amazing beard, a pretentious knowledge of craft beers, and a Subaru. Uh, Funny. I didn't get any of those things. Don't worry, I will stop at nothing to get you your very own Colorado welcome kit. <laughs> Good, because I actually got you something. Wait, what? Surprise. Wait, is this? This is the album I requested. I know, I'm good. I was gonna get this for you. Well, I got it for you first, so I get the credit. Okay, we jamming out, we jamming out hard. That's what's up, that's what's up. It was just like old times. Oh no. Stop that. I can't. It's too late. <laughs> oh, I'm at his head, man. What even is that? You're way off tempo. Yeah, I gotta roast his ass. <laughs> You just got to let the beat flow through you. <laughs> oh, what's going on? He's going to beat my ass? The fuck? Your turn. All right, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll jam Fine. out. Fine. Fine. Oh, then she hit it with her. She kicked it up with her foot and shit. Jamming out hard, bro. Okay, I see you. You haven't lost a beat. <laughs> Just give me a sec. Yeah. Hey, Mac. Oh, this guy looks sketchy. What's up with him? Can I help you? Something's wrong. I read Riley's phone. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. Oh, good. Because I thought you were fucking my girlfriend. Dude, I promise you've got it all wrong. Tell me why I shouldn't kick your ass ah! right now. 
No. No, 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 not here. No, no, not here. It's not my place, man. You really need to talk to your girlfriend. I'm talking to you! What is she doing? What the fuck? I mean, it's getting the beat. Alex, stop! Stop! Gabe, I didn't. It's okay. What the fuck just happened? Go. You could both go fuck yourselves. I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Okay, right off the bat, something is wrong with this chick. Fuck. What the hell is what the hell happened to her? She just got like possessed by like some evil spirit like the anger spirit or some shit. Wait, Gabe. Alex, it's fine. I gotta go stop my shift. Wait, what the hell? What? 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 Wait, some guy just pulled up to our crib, Could came inside without us fucking letting him inside. We just opened the door, and he started beating up our brother. We got like possessed by the anger emotion or whatever. We whooped his ass. Which was kind of scary to see, to be completely honest. Seeing Alex do that shit... Uh, I'm a bit confused right now. The powers are explained. You know, she's a psychic okay. empath, but... I don't really understand what her powers really are. Like, what was that? Like, did she get, like... Did she, like... I, I don't know. Her powers are confusing. I'm okay. <sighs> wow. I'm okay. Dude, she went crazy. Alex is a bit crazy. What the fuck? I guess I might as well unpack. I guess I might as well unpack. I just whooped someone ass. I guess I might as well unpack. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for Life is Strange 3, or 3. Um, really enjoying the game so far, really good. A lot of questions that I would like to get answered, I'll only figure that out by playing the game. Um, but yeah, once again, super excited to finish this game, to see where the story goes. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, share the video, do whatever. I uh, appreciate everyone coming by, stopping by, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Have a good day, guys. Peace.